everybody, this is Pathfinder John. I'm here with uh, Trailblazer James. He's the one handling the camera right now. So we are heading off to a location that has a specimen problem. So this is a park of unknown origin that has some creatures that are of an ancient design and they got loose. So our key focus is to capture four species. Now there's a lot of them. There's a lot of different ones. But there's four key species we need to get samples for. We're going to head out, get a couple of them. Different. The thing we found about them is that different weapons work differently on each of them. So we'll be using the weapons keyed and ready for those specific species. We'll let you know when we get there. We're here. We just got to the location. So this place hasn't been used for months. And we don't know how long the specimens have been free, but we got to be very careful not to scare them or spook them. So we'll be using suppressed or at least quieter air rifles today in order to make sure we get them captured and out. They're there. These are what we're going to use to get our targets. This one is for one of the more dangerous species. It's my biggest one. We got to use it to knock it down in order to make sure we get a firm capture of it. This one is for one of the more beefier designs of the specimens. So that's what we're using for that. This is my silent one. We have ones that are really skittish. This is my quietest one I have. We're we'll taking them out with that. Now this one, don't let the looks deceive you. This is for the biggest thing we got out there, specifically designed just to take it out. Let's go take a look at the specimens. I just heard it. The most dangerous specimen that we have to collect is already here in the vicinity. Go ahead and take this. Go ahead and get ready. You can kind of hear it pretty quiet. You know it's be quiet too. says to come They're just over the hill. Now cut it. Right over the hill. Just like I said. So I gotta be really quiet and careful. These guys are the most dangerous ones here in the park. A whole pack of them will just rip you apart. Kind of like those uh, raptors, you know, like a great, uh, uh, great horned owl and, uh, and uh, the golden eagle. All the, those kind of raptors, they'll just tear you apart. You gotta be quiet. I think I scared him.
Got one, boss. Clean kill. The rest escaped. Good job, Trailblazer James. Boy, bring it on in. We'll get a picture of it. So, we got our most dangerous ones taken care of, so I can put this one down. This one is specifically designed for dealing with those dangerous raptor type uh, birds. So, yeah, now we got to move on to our beefier target. We got to get that specimen. So, let's go find our beefier target. They are not nearly as skittish. They actually prefer to be more of a down to earth kind of creature. But, oh, come on, let's go find. Beefy guys did. They ruined this platoon. Cans of food everywhere. Throw the place in the car. Ooh. You don't have to be too quiet around them, but you don't want to surprise them. Otherwise, they'll take your leg off if you're not careful. Not to be a bore about it, but you got to be really, really careful. There. I'm going to try to take a shot. All right, we're lined up. Going to take it and... Looks like the others escaped, boss, but we got that kill. Clean one, too. Yeah! That's a great shot. We'll get James to bring it in, get it cataloged with the rest. Now we gotta find one of the bigger ones that we gotta deal with. It's, it's a little more flighty, hence why I have the suppressed rifle now. So, speaking of, they're over there. right up the walkway here, right at the base of the truck. And when you look at them, they actually have a very keen hierarchy. The big alpha, also we call him the big blue, will tend to stand right at the top and watch over his harem, or even just his subordinates. So we gotta do, we gotta take that alpha, bring it in as a sample. Here we go. So, we have an issue. I'm just about out of ammunition. This is my last shot. I don't get it, we don't get any more samples. So let's see what we can do. All right, got them lined up. Try to get them right about. Uh, I don't know, boss. These two, these other two, they're not moving. They're uh. Too dumb to run. Too bad we don't have more ammunition. Got a kill though. Nice and clean. All right. Good job, Trailblazer James. Yeah, I can't speak for the two dumb ones, so get it in, get it in for sampling. So, next thing we're going for is the biggest thing here out of all the specimens. Not to ram it down everybody's throat, but if you got to go big, you got to get just as bad. This right here, this is the Daisy Duke 87 caliber Tyrannosaurus Chaser. It's not actually what it is, but I caught that. Come on, let's go find it. So, we're back in the deep part of the woods here. Now, these big guys, um, they tend to be pretty solitary. They like to be in a high elevations, generally fairly sheltered too. So we've got to make sure... Ah, there he is. He's hiding right over there. Now with a gun this powerful, you actually have to prime it in order for it to be able to shoot. So. Okay, we're ready to go. Come on, big boy. Come on, big boy. Down, first hit. Gotta love it. 
being the biggest, he tends to be the easiest target. But there might not be much of a sample to take with a gun of this caliber. Let's go take a look. Jeez, boss, give us some warning next time. Didn't even break ear protection. This thing's big, though. I'm gonna need help carrying this. That is a clean kill right through the heart. Well, all in all, very productive day. We got all four species of the samples we needed. Each gun did exactly what it was supposed to do. That one scared me because we ran out of ammunition on that one, but specialty made products. You got to get what you can take. That being said, I want to say a big thank to our sponsor, Pyramid Air, for being able to supply all the materials, as well as giving us the lead on the species. So, this is Pathfinder John with Trailblazer James, telling you folks, don't do what I would do, do it better.